The second of Frontiers regular Elite Dangerous Odyssey development updates was announced in a forum post by community manager Arthur Tolmy yesterday. There's some subtle, significant and important changes coming to the game. In this video we're going to break down what to expect. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. So the much anticipated development update 2 arrived yesterday evening. All in all it was a much more significant and meatier affair than the previous update and was generally very well received by the wider community. It's broken down into 3 parts. Those parts being updates on the key issues from the issue tracker, updates that are planned for patch 6 and then finally content and updates that are being worked on for after patch 6. So key issues from the issue tracker then. There will be further updates to Odyssey's lighting and illumination system in update 6. Also the issue of degraded terrain textures will bring what the update describes as quote significant improvements unquote. There are also further improvements and optimizations to the current big showstopper for a lot of players overall frames per second. There is still apparently significant work underway to continue to improve this further. The update then goes on to detail some smaller more specific bugs that have been fixed that are due to reach the live game on or around the launch of patch 6. Those fixes being cargo canisters getting stuck in mega ships cargo bays, Highford's cache in the Colonia region missing a scannable data point, crash site mission POIs not appearing and finally Odyssey sticking at the loading game screen when launched. Next the post moves on to updates and additions that are due for patch 6. No firm date has yet been given for the patch but Arthur's development update does describe the patch as being planned for quote later this week unquote. Firstly then with some included examples we can expect some changes to the planetary colour set. Whilst the colours we've seen on planetary surfaces are not quite akin to the great beigeification that we saw in Elite's earlier times, in Odyssey the available colour scheme has become somewhat homogenised. Examples shown of the new palette that you can see on screen now bring a new level of vibrancy and differentiation. The update is at pains however to point out that the scheme being deployed is still very much grounded in science. Terrain. Grounded. See what I did there? There will also be further variation in colour within ice worlds to better reflect their individual chemical composition. The improvements to planetary graphics will extend down to the surface level experience as well with improved ice materials, increased volcanic activity and improvements to lighting. Frontier are also implementing AMD's FSR technology which works on all GPUs by the way to bring further improvements to planetary visuals and further increased performance. The photography and videography community will be pleased to hear that the discussion Frontier had with them a month or so back about the camera suite and its issues has borne fruit and Frontier are implementing a whole new collision detection system allowing the camera to move freely around a settlement or social space with hopefully fewer blackouts and the blackout probability has also been significantly reduced in the vast majority of other scenarios as well. <laughs> and finally for patch 6 AI troops carrying rocket launchers are being added to military bases in an effort to prevent SRVs acting with complete impunity. Patch 6 will of course be accompanied by extensive patch notes when it drops and you can expect a significant number of other tweaks, improvements and fixes to be documented in there as well. The development update then goes into somewhat unusual territory for Frontier and starts discussing new features that are being worked on for release after patch 6. So what can we expect there? 
Whilst the update doesn't go into specifics a number of ships are apparently to be fitted with an extra seat meaning finally a full multi crew team will be able to travel together in one ship. Currently the maximum any ship even something like an anaconda or a beluga can carry is 3 people meaning the least popular player in any given full team has to go it alone. Also new Odyssey engineers are to be added for the Colonia region with details for those expected to be revealed soon. I'm curious to know if those engineers will feature upgrades that only they can give similar to the Horizons engineers currently in the game. Air defence turrets are being added to surface conflict zones as part of ongoing balancing efforts to presumably help deal with ships entering those arenas and spamming dumb fires to make constant fresh batches of commander jam. Intriguingly in this section the update also mentions including quote associated on foot gameplay unquote. If you've got thoughts on what that might mean let us know in the comments below. Two much requested community features increased module storage and map bookmark limits are also set to arrive in a future update. Another much commented feature of Odyssey is the lack of connectivity between ship and groundwork when it comes to working missions. Odyssey missions are almost entirely driven by on foot gameplay. The developer update makes mention of this fact and promises that work is progressing to achieve what it calls quote stronger links between the in cockpit and on foot game unquote. We're presuming that this means some Odyssey missions will include a ship specific component as well as on foot sections at some point making them multi part affairs maybe. Give us your thoughts on that as well below. And finally a function to allow Apex passengers to redirect their shuttle mid flight to return to its point of origin or to another destination fuel permitting is also on the way. The update finishes off by assuring that the list of features is not exhaustive and there are still unannounced features to be shared in a future update. So overall I think a generally really positive development update certainly significantly stronger than the first update a month or so ago. I'm very encouraged to see that the ground combat experience is being worked on still and I'm hopeful that the additions discussed in this update are the start of a fleshing out of the sphere of combat feature and it would be nice to see more granularity being added to the combat options in those scenarios going forward. So lots to look forward to and assess in patch 6 and then some assurances that new features are on the way post patch 6. What are your thoughts on the new features that you've heard about for patch 6 and the stuff that we can expect afterwards? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.